All right, let's get started by getting a length of crochet string. So stretch your arm across your chest to your opposite shoulder to your other fingertip and then cut. All right, we're ready to thread our needles. So you are going to take the crochet thread and hold the very end of it in one hand and your needle in the other and you're going to put the end of the crochet thread through the eye of the needle and pull through about eight inches. And then on the other end of the thread, we're going to make a knot. To create a knot, you make a loop by crossing the short end over the long end, wrapping the end of the thread behind and through the hole, and then pull. Simple. Now, if you want to, you can create a double knot by crossing your thread over where the first knot was and making another knot. This is called a double knot. Now we're ready to start our first stitch. It's called a running stitch, and it's the simple air stitch. And we're gonna start on the top right corner if you're right-handed, come up from the back, pull until your knot hits the back of your fabric, leave a little space and go back down into your fabric and pull, and you've just made your first stitch. Come back from the back again, not too far away, make your stitch as small and as even as you can. You can see I already have almost two stitches done. So up and down, little stitches. I'm holding the fabric pretty close to where I'm stitching and that makes it easier to control my sewing. And just carefully create your stitches going up and down all the way across, making sure they're even. Now, when you're finished with your edge, sewing the top edge, you're going to need to make a knot at the end of your sewing so that the stitches don't come out. So do you see where the thread is coming out of the fabric? You're going to put your needle just in there, make a tiny, tiny stitch underneath where it's coming out of the fabric. Pull your needle through so you have a loop. Put your needle through the loop and pull. And then where that little stitch is, you're going to slide your needle underneath carefully. Pull, leave a loop. Put your needle through the loop, pull, and you have a knot. Then you can snip your thread. The next type of stitch that we're going to be doing is called a whip stitch. So make a knot by make a loop, cross the ends over, put the end behind and through the hole, and pull. And you may want to make a double knot. So cross the ends over where the knot is, and pull the end through the loop. Now you're ready to sew a whip stitch. So the whip stitch is a different type of stitch and you can just turn your fabric around and starting in the top right corner, again, bring your thread and your needle through the back to the front and instead of going down into the thread from the front, you'll just always come from the back of the fabric. If your thread ends up going over the corner, just pull it back in place. And remember to always come from the back of your fabric. Now I'm holding mine like this, but when you see the time lapse video, you'll see that I changed the way I'm holding my fabric. That is up to you. You can decide to hold yours any way that makes sense. 
and just continue to sew using the whip stitch around the edge. And don't forget to create a knot at the end of your sewing. So where this is coming, the thread is coming out of the fabric, make a tiny stitch underneath that thread. Pull your needle through, put your needle through the loop, and make one more stitch underneath that stitch. Pull to create a loop, and put your needle through the loop and you have finished your whip stitch. Next time we have art, we will be creating embroidery stitches.